Okay, so the hole's finished. Um, we've dug down to the, we've hit gravel down here and I don't think we need to go any further at this point. You may be wondering why I dug such a massive hole to bury a, uh, to plant a fruit tree. Um, usually you hear for fruit trees that the rule is to dig a hole that's twice the size of the pot that the fruit tree is in. Um, this hole is probably five or six times the size of the pot and significantly deeper. The reason for that is this is an infiltration basin, specifically a grey water infiltration basin. So we want the tree to actually be sitting below grade so that any uh, all the grey water coming off the bath bathroom over here which is the kitchen and uh, sorry the shower and bathtub at the moment there's also a, another basin but we need to fix that pipe at this point um, that all that water will be coming into this basin here so we're gonna plant the lime tree that's in this pot here probably the soil level will be about this high which is a probably 15 centimeters below the soil surface and then we will put on a lot of mulch on top of that and the idea being all the grey water will come into here it won't spread out it will get sunk into the root system around the uh, lime tree and we'll actually dig out an overflow spillway here which will then spill any excess water into this what will be a future veggie bed um, along that goes from me to behind the camera. Okay, let's see if this is enough rocks. Okay, so that's all the work I think I'm going to do on this today. Um, I'm expecting this to, the levels to uh, uh, sink quite a bit over the next few days. We'll come back in with some more mulch and prop it up if we need to, but on the whole, I'm pretty happy with it. This is my first attempt at a one of these basins. I'll put a link to a Brad Lancaster talk in the description below. He is, as far as I'm aware, the pioneer of this sort of system for dryland uh, tree planting. He's fantastic. Um, so the talk below was very, I found very inspiring and the reason why I've done this today. We'll keep you updated with how it works moving forward. Um, hopefully the lime tree was okay. It was very hard to get it out of the pot, so it got knocked around a bit. If it doesn't survive, we'll just be getting another citrus tree to put in its place. But hopefully it does. I've actually moved quite a few times with this tree and I'd like to actually give it some love and let it grow 
to uh, its full potential, which hopefully it will in this bit. All right. Thanks for watching our video and don't forget to uh, click the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more. Okay, bye.